Welcome back to the Weston Smith channel. Today we are breaking out my new favorite combo, man. Stick around, this one's gonna be sick. Got him. All right, guys, yes, so we are back at it out in Dallas, Fort Worth, Metroplex with Pawn Boys today. Shoo! And we're gonna be throwing what I believe is to be my new favorite combo, the Tranks mixed with the Guggen Gold and the new DRT swag right here aftermarket handles. We'll talk more about it here in a minute. What have you got going on today, Pawn All right, Boys? so I'm gonna be throwing a Crankbait. This is the 100X by Six Cents, so I'm gonna be throwing that bad boy around. And then I'm gonna be throwing around the, um, I think this is called the, I, I forgot what the I've heck I've seen them before, they're sick. The D-Crack. Um, I'm just gonna do like a Texas rig on the bottom and then this is gonna be if they're suspended. So um, this is like a lure by G-Crack, it's called Bellows Gills. Yeah. And then that's what I'm gonna be throwing today. So we're just gonna keep it light. Um, and that's pretty much it. So. <laughs> that's it, man. I'm gonna literally be carrying around one rod and reel. We're gonna switch up the baits as we go. We'll talk about everything. It is uh, Palm Boy and I's first time getting out after the new year. So happy 2021 to you guys. Let's go ahead and rig up the GoPros and get started, man. I'm ready to get on some fish if they're biting today. Let's go yes, hustle. Sir. It's the weekend too, bro. I haven't fished here and it's been busy in a long time. You want to talk about getting snagged, y'all? This is my specialty. I see some fountains out here. I got a feeling we might lose the contender today. Dude, there could be some giants. You just going to go straight around the corner? I'm going to try and cast right here by the restaurants. Before we talk gear, let me get a couple casts in. Angle you guys down a little bit. All right, let's roll. Look at those handles, dude. So sick. I wonder if we should go walk that because we've never hit that side, right? Or have you? Oh, I think I just had a fuller. No, I'm, I'm going with you. All right, y'all, no fountain noise. We're at a place I can actually talk. I think uh, Torrance was starting off with that bottom bait, but this little spot right here, I think he's whipping out the crankbait, see if we can get on a little moving bite today. Starting off with a seven inch contender, but what we are really here for is the brand new setup, man. For Christmas, I got Devin and I some different colored knobs for our DRT varial handles. This is the 110 millimeter aftermarket handles and they come with black knobs. Uh, it's a working class zero collaboration. You can see the WCZ logo right there. But I found some of these on eBay. One was a little bit harder to find and I had to go by an individual seller. We got some lime green ones. We also got some purple ones and we uh, got the whites. But this is now probably my favorite combo I own. Literally just recently got my muscle rod in stock. This is the Guggen Squad Gold Muscle Rod. Always linked down below, check them out, as well as the Tranks. It is in the description. The 200 size is so sick. It's gonna work out for big swim baits as well as just throwing just about anything in your tackle box, but it's two-tone and it's got a nice looking shape and design to it. So if you're into the aesthetics, I think this is the one for you. Definitely got a sick color scheme. The Tranks 300, 400, etc. It's a little bit larger, bulkier, and, and there's only silver. So this black two-tone really edges it out, especially with the handles that we've got on it now. So yeah, by far my favorite combo, man. I'll tell you a little bit more as I fish, but let me see if I can't get the first bite out here. The water has been cold, so I'm just kind of creeping this multi-jointed swim bait, seeing if there's maybe anything hugging up against the walls that the sunlight is hitting, maybe warming it up a little bit. Otherwise, I'm gonna quickly switch it over. I brought a mystery tackle box with me in the backpack, and I've got some baits in there that I think will work perfectly at this spot. So, ACK. Uh, this is uh, a bait, but we're going for bass. Oh, nice. Yep, yep. That's right. <laughs> yeah, there's some big bass. Like six. We're finna break out the mission fish. It's been a minute. This is a line through swim bait. Pull that line through. I'm gonna tie a palomar knot to the hook that comes with the bait. Now that the hook is rigged, you just kind of pull that line back up through the body and you position the hook inside almost like a texas rig right i'm just going to push it up through the plastic you can even texpose that hook you can even push it back into the top there so it's very weedless and it's a large presentation for these wintertime giants i'm going to work this along the bottom nice and slow i just brought some extra tackle inside the mtb box if you guys want to try out mystery tackle box by the way different baits sent to your door every single month for the type of species you want to catch link is down in the description you can try it for as low as 10 bucks and they've got some killer sales going on right now so hit that up if you're interested let me go ahead make the first cast with the mission fish. I'm just gonna hit it right along this wall. And this is a big heavy bait. You can really chunk out there with something like this Guggen Squad Gold Muscle Rod. This is a 7.5 heavy, extra fast. Ideal setup for something big like this. Get you a monster hook set, even at the end of your cast with the extra length, you get further cast with some extra length on that rod. It's tricky, they might not be along the wall. They might literally just be out there in a deep pocket, just chilling. Might be hard to find them. Man, I'm gonna have to polish these up almost daily, I bet. They're gonna get so dirty. Yeah, these are like the cleanest looking knobs, but at the same time, I bet they're gonna get so dirty. It's all gravy. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see how these things are gonna look after about a month. Dude, this side's skatable now. <laughs> so y'all, as we pass this tree, I'm just thinking to myself, Maybe sometimes these branches fall down and produce a little cover right here. Also, high likelihood that bugs are falling into the water right here and fish kind of treat this as a feeding ground. So whenever you see some overhanging trees, I would say give it a dangle. 
don't want to pass up anything that's kind of out of the ordinary and just kind of different than a straight wall. If you're fishing a spot like this where everything is the same and then you run across some potential for cover, submerged cover. Oh, and we got a bite. Just had a hit. I just had something swipe at it. Yeah, 100%. Like as soon as it settled after a couple pops, little dink. This is a sick little courtyard. Oh, we should have brought the ping pong balls, bro. They got a ping pong table right there. All right, let's get rid of the mission fish and drop it down a little bit. Here we go. Kind of the finesse option for the mission fish. Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. It's also got a weight in the nose, about three quarter ounce, so it'll get down deep. This will be perfect. fish? Not today, but uh, I bet I bet here soon enough. Yep, that is true. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> All right, rigged and ready. Let's give this thing a shot. All right, guys, I know there's some fish hanging out in here. Any luck, man? Not today, but in the past here, it's been pretty good, yeah. Like just normally around the bank? Usually, like when it was hotter out, it seemed like they'd be along the wall. Yeah. They might be out deep now, so I'm just kind of figuring it out today. Yeah. Always different, right? Yeah. For sure. For sure. <laughs> good luck, man. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Ooh. Me. What just happened? There was a fish? I mean, you had him. Oh, that was twice in a row. This thing's like broken. Dang it. Two bites back to back. I had him on the hook for a second that time, but he came off. I think there's gonna be more right here. All these like stems sticking up. See this? Perfect cover for them. Popping it on the bottom nice and slow. Can't believe we missed that fish. Come on, trees. Produce. Come on, man. Dink, dink, dink. Running out of the trees with it. I've never had such bad luck with this dark sleeper on hookup ratio. That was pathetic. Nice little stump in the corner. I'm getting bites, but... Nice little stump in the corner. I'm getting bites, but I think it's a bluegill. It was kind of like... Got him. All right, there we go. Ah, first bass on the favorite combo, boys, and it's easily a two. Heck yes, the cold water dark sleeper got it done. That's what I'm talking about. He's a pale light color with the black spots. And look at him, he's plump for wintertime. That's what we're talking about. First fish of 2021. Hey, let me get a quick pick for Instagram. By the way, we're closing in on 100,000 followers. If you guys want to go give us a follow, we just finished a rod and reel giveaway. We're probably gonna do more like it in the future. Get you some of that. Hey, top of the mouth hook set, thank goodness. I said the next bite I get, I'm just jamming it. I'm shooting for the sky. So, exactly what we did. First one, probably two pounds of the day, y'all. Get it back in here, try and get us some more. See that? Cruising. Definitely seeing some more stems and roots coming out along this wall right here. And that's exactly what the bass was hugging up against. Don't forget to stay till the end, guys, since this is my first time setting this up. And I will give you the full-on uh, first use review, right? First impressions of everything kind of set up exactly how it is. This is cool, man. I have never explored this far. It's kind of nice just walking around the urban spot with only one combo, too. Normally, I've got, like, another one sticking up vertically out of my backpack. I kind of, like, put the butt into the rod back here. And it uh, makes it a little bit harder to travel. Or, you know, you just got to kind of walk back and grab your secondary setup or third or fourth. Sometimes I carry four or five combos if I'm really going crazy on the banks and uh, so this is nice just carrying one combo and I'm like literally in love with the setup at Tranks with these specific white grips looks so sick uh, I will do my best to keep them clean for y'all's viewing pleasure the cork on these sensitive gold series rods is making it have the looks to go with the performance let me tell you that and the 7.5 heavy extra fast is perfect for my bottom baits uh, especially stuff that's maybe even a little bit heavier you know you might throw like the go-to rod for some lighter weight stuff and more all-purpose use but this right here is going to be fantastic for my jigs and texas rigs flipping maybe some top water i'm telling you what this thing's going to get utilized i might tie on a different bait just because this thing's getting so torn up this is the guggen squad gridiron jig and i've got one of the mini trench hogs on the back there this might be the bama bug i forget but re regardless it's kind of got some orange to go with that skirt there on that pb and j jig let's toss this thing out there see if anything's looking for a big winter treat torrents on with the first one and that's on the crankbait sick oh 
that's all we've got for you today, guys. Didn't get on any more fish, but we are loving the new setup, man. The Tranks 201 left-handed with all the DRT aftermarket goods and the Guggen Squad muscle rod. Once again, the gear is going to be linked down in the description in case you're in the market for a new rod or reel yourself and wanted to have a look at those options right there. Otherwise, guys, we'll just catch you on the next one. We've got a lot of exciting stuff coming this year, so be on the lookout. Peace, guys. <gasps>